Hello, I'm Estelle Bailey, the Chief Exec of the Barks, Bucks and Oxen Wildlife Trust. Welcome to the annual review of our work for 2016-17. Let's have a look at some of our achievements over the last year. So we've had a really great year here at the Nature Discovery Centre in Thatcham. We've trialled two new health and wellbeing projects and they've been really successful. We know that nature and wildlife give us uh, benefits like clean water and pollinators for all of our crops. Uh, but there's also quite a lot of research and science coming out now that says that nature can be good for your health. Um, and that it might have a positive impact on your mental health and your physical health. So we wanted to try these two pilots to find out whether or not we could measure the tangible benefits and if it was something that we might like to do more of in the future. If we could have imagined the kind of things that would have been said by the participants uh, and the impact that it could have had, the very most perfect thing that could have happened actually did. And that that made them then go away and think, Yes, I can get on with my day today. I will be okay. When we started the project, there was uh, four different species of plants recorded in this particular area, very common species. Um, we're now starting to get some of the more unusual plants back. Um, most recent survey recorded 25 different species. So this is just proof that this work is worthwhile and it's a good motivator for the volunteers. Wild Oxford is a great example of how Beebout works beyond its own nature reserves um, and works with other partners such as Oxford City Council to improve habitat um, and promote conservation uh, on other people's land. We've had a fantastic opportunity here at College Lake. Uh, we were awarded uh, heritage lottery funded grants uh, back in November 2015 and this was to improve the interpretation at College Lake for our visitors. Uh, so the main focus was bringing our geology exhibition into the visitor centre. Part of the money also went to our Geology Rocks school programme that we offer to primary age schools. College Lake has a farm heritage and that's what we wanted to showcase with the Farming and Wildlife Museum and how they're linked together. And we've now got an interactive trail for the children. So we've got Harvey the Harvest Mouse and the children need to find him and his friends throughout the exhibition as well. So it's, it's fun and informative for all ages. We have thousands of children every year, more than 10,000 across our four education centres coming um, to see us and the sessions are very, very hands-on. We're all about the heads, hearts and hands approach, the thinking, feeling and doing. That gives people that real first connection um, which we hope will be the beginning of a lifelong love of nature. A recent one which was um, a lovely experience, it's been one of my, just my own personal highlights of the year is a girl who was really quiet in the classroom and she, um, she said to me, um, she, she touched my arm at the end of the session, she hardly said anything through the whole day and she touched my arm and she said, you've really inspired me. She whispered it to me. That was it was I looked at. Some willow and birch uh, to be cut. Um, I, I moved up to Tring from London and I, I just stumbled across this uh, reserve, a wonderful clearing in the woods with lots of orchids and, and then found out it was a nature reserve. I expressed an interest uh, to the local group and uh, uh, I was immediately drawn in. That was 36 years ago and I'm still involved here. <laughs> I'm really pleased that we've got such a varied group working at the, this reserve. Uh, we've actually got more women than, than men in, a, in our group. We've got a range of ages, uh, we've got a range of abilities and uh, it's nice to be able to give uh, something to everyone in the group. I'm always humbled by the amount of work that our 1400 volunteers do every year to help us protect wildlife across the three counties. 
We can only achieve these projects and the day-to-day -day running of our nature reserves to keep them in such great condition with the support of our members, corporate supporters, trust foundations and grants. I'd like to say thank you to everybody who's contributed to helping us restore nature across the three counties over the last year and hopefully for many years to come. Thank you for being part of Nature's Recovery.